Hello, my name is Mario Costro and I'm Marie Stadros and we are the conveners of the module Power and Social Perspectives on Development and with us we'll be working Katie Oswald as the tutor of the module. And we think this is an absolutely fantastic course if you are working in government, if you are working in NGOs, if you are working in social movements, if you are working in research, this is a broad-based course that will give you an excellent opportunity to link theory with policy and practice in very on very practical issues. So if you are working, if you just want to know what is this business about participation, uh, why and how did the, the, this whole movement about citizen participation arise, how is it done, this is the course for you. If you want to do power analysis about just about anything, if you are doing a power analysis of a program, a, co um, a set of relations at work, um, power relations in the community, power relations, multinational corporations, media, whatever is the object of your analysis that you want to understand the power dynamics of, this is the course for you. You will get those practical skills that will enable you to use that lens onto whatever it is you are working on. If you want to understand the whole idea of social movements, wh where did they arise? How do they negotiate relations with the government? When do they start? When do they end? Why do they end? Again, this is a course that gives you that broad-based understanding. The great thing about this course is it's both multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary. You don't need to have done any sociology, you don't need to have done any politics, you don't need to have done any economics, you don't need to have done any anthropology, any development studies to be able to get a lot of this course. Consider it a foundation course that would enable you to understand the basic tenets and foundations and, uh, and principles of development studies in terms of state society relations that would then you then you can build on and specialize on in the next term. But the great thing about this course is when we talk about theory, policy and practice, it's not just by looking at case studies. We give you a very practical opportunity to do this yourself, as Marioka will tell you now. Yeah, that's right. So the, in the sessions and lectures and that are very much interactive and workshop style, you get to know everything about cri critical concepts here at IDS, like citizen participation, power analysis, um, enabled and invited spaces for accountability. mobilization, accountability, including the tech innovations on accountability. Now, the, t the course is structured that you will also have uh, a group project. So you, um, part of the course is doing um, an essay, which is a case study of your own choice, which you can delve into any form of social movement of people's action that you like using the concepts and then the second assignment is a group project so you choose you select a group of your peers from among the students and you choose a, a, a topic in Brighton uh, or in surroundings in the past groups of students have visited and documented um, food banks uh, they've looked at graffiti in Brighton as expressions of, of political culture They've uh, linked up with refugee charities in Brighton, the homeless, all sorts of charities that are examples of, of social and political action, looking at power dynamics in communities and how people mobilise to advance their interests or claim their rights. So this is completely supported uh, by the tutor. So there, the Friday sessions will help you design this uh, this visit to into communities and select a charity or whatever organisation and help you um, like structure what kind of questions or interactions and encounters will you have with them and then all through writing up a report about this. Now what we know from past generations of students is this is usually the most exciting bit uh, people remember. They also form really great friendships but it's really for people from all over the world to study an example of uh, people's action here is a, both a way to test your knowledge about concepts but also get to know Brighton and surroundings really well. So we hope that gave you a good flavour of the module and we look forward to seeing you in class. Great. Bye bye. See you soon.